the initial and commonly used example in the STM32 cube monitor is a real-time chart that is very useful for debugging because it makes possible to do a long-term registration. But the second necessity is not reading, but vice versa, writing the value of the variable. Open STM32 cube monitor. To speed up configuration, go to the article, open txt file and copy all JSON code. Then return to the monitor, press File, Import and paste all copied code. Press Import Copy. Now you have two flows, just delete the old one. Flows Delete. Now you have got all required nodes, but some of them need configuration. The default value for the variables names and addresses was set for my project, so you need to have your own. For example, if you have it in the stm 32 cube IDE project, in the tree right-click on the project name, show in explorer. In the project folder you should see debug folder, where L file located. Copy path to this folder. So, double click on the My Variables, click on the pencil icon and paste an earlier copied path in the folder field. The file is updated and the variables list too. Now you can choose variables that you need to read or write. In my case, it's only one variable that can set the buzzer frequency. Click Update. In the variable list, you can see all chosen variables and their addresses. Also, you need to change as the link to your. So, firstly, press Ctrl plus R, type devmgmt.msc to open device manager and in universal serial bus devices check that debugger successfully identified and drivers installed. Open my probe out and change debugger to your. It should be connected to the PC by bulb click the LED of the debugger should glow, so you can check that is correctly identified here too. Do the same with the My Probe In. The only thing that is different in contrast to the default chart plotting is the right panel that could be found in the left list and this node does not have important configs. Now press deploy, it should be successful and then open dashboard. The MCU should be flashed with the same firmware as earlier chosen ELF file. Press start acquisition and the plotting is going. Only now you can see the right panel, where you can manually write any value in the variable type range. In my example it's unsigned integer 32 bit and then press right button. As you can see it affects changing real value in the random access memory that change the timers PW frequency connected with the amplifier to the small speaker. Thus, it's good to simultaneously change the values and see how it changed. Here I write a function to change PWM frequency each time by the same step cyclically. So it's very useful to see the correctness of the software part working and simultaneously listen to it in real on measure with using an oscilloscope to confirm the correctness of the hardware side too.